Today we are going to discuss about the pH and pOH. Actually, in all the aqueous solution, the concentration of hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion are too low to be conveniently expressed and used in calculations. In 1909, a Sorensen, a Danish biochemist, introduced a term pH and pOH. So the scale of so the scale of the pH and pOH have been developed. So we call it a scale or Sorensen scale. pH and pOH are abbreviations of the negative log of hydrogen ion concentration and a negative log of the hydroxyl ion concentration, respectively, as you can see there. I again pronounce that the pH is equal to minus log of hydrogen ion concentration. pOH is equal to minus log of the hydroxyl ion concentration. As in the last lecture of the ionic product, we just measure the Kw, which was equal to 10 raised to power minus 14. And hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 10 raised to power minus 7 and hydroxyl ion concentration for a water is 10 raised to power minus 7. These all were the values from the ionization of the water and we know that it is a dissociation or ionic constant of the water. So, according to this data, if we put the values in the concentration of hydrogen ion and in place of the hydroxyl ion, then we can see what happens. For instance, we take 10 raised to power minus 7 as the concentration of the hydrogen ion. Then we get this value of pH. pH is equal to minus log of concentration of hydrogen ion 10 raised to power minus 7. So when we calculate it according to the operation of the logarithm the exponent becomes the coefficient. So this is a minus and this is a power which becomes coefficient and the log at 10. The log 10 is equal to 1. So the whole value becomes only 7. A pH is equal to 7. And in the same way, when we calculate the pOH, then it comes 7. It means that the pH plus pOH is equal to 7 plus 7. It means that it will become 14. By keeping these values in mind, we just have a scale to find out the acidity or a basic nature of a solution. If the pH is equal to 7, then any solution is considered to be neutral. In the same way, if the pH is more than 7, then solution is considered as ASIC. And if the pH is less than the 7, then solution or any substance is acidic. These are simple way that we can find out the nature of a solution that it is basic or acidic or a neutral. In the same way, if we take a logarithm, a minus log of Kw, according to our last lecture about the ionic product, then pKw is obtained. It means that the pKw is equal to minus log of Kw. And from the value of the water, the Kw is 10 raised to power minus 14. If we take a minus log of 10 to the power minus 14, then 
we just find 14. It means that a pKW of a neutral water is 14 at 25 degrees centigrade. According to the Sorensen scale, the pH normally varies between 0 to 14. It means that each and every solution which have a hydrogen ion and OH ion concentration in them ranges from 0 to 14. If we take a pH of some important food product or a natural product, for example, the vinegar has a pH of about 2.8, is acidic, lemon is also acidic, 2.3, 2.8 is more, 2.3 is less, but less the value of the pH, more acidic solution is, and banana is 4.6, a little bit basic as compared to lemon or vinegar rainwater is 6.2 and milk has a 6.5 and x 7.8 a basic a basic product because the ph is more than 7 and many different acids and bases can be made according to the need of uh, ph and poh if you know about the pH, then you can find out the pOH. For example, the pH plus pOH is equal to 14. If we know the pH, say the lemon pH is 2.3, lemon pH is 2.3 and pOH is to be determined, then pOH is placed here and pH goes to the 14 as minus pH. So 14 minus pH, pH is 2.3, put the value, and 14 minus 2.3 is equal to the 11.7. So we can also determine the pOH of different product. For example, for the lemon, it is 11.7. In this way, you can find all the pOH values of each and everything about which the pH you know. Yes, these are the values of different products with their pH and pOH.